someone says they want to pick your brain, how do you respond? <laughs> how do we feel about brain picking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's better than them telling me they want to pick my nose or something. But, you know, um, it, it, you know it's interesting because I think I take that one of two ways depending on the relationship with the person asking, right? So if you said to me, I want to pick your brain, you know, we have, you know, we have a relationship, we're friends, right? I know you're going, okay, I just want to know what's inside there. Like, let's, let's brainstorm. And then there are other people that come and say, I want to pick your brain. And they just want to steal what's inside your brain because they can't pick it out for themselves, right? So I, I, I guess that's why I probably laughed so hard at the beginning because I really think there's two types of people that want to pick your brain. It's the people that actually want to work with you or brainstorm or expect, respect your advice or whatever the case is, right? People, you 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 have a relationship, like, well, you have you have a relationship with, you know, the assholes right, who want but, to steal stuff But from an you. ongoing but, relationship, um, you know, it's, it's different, it's different. And I want to, I brought this up because I was talking to someone recently, uh, a client of ours and she mentioned to me that um you know she felt like someone had just picked her brain and they overshared too much and i think we've been guilty of doing this too you know um we we get on the phone with people we get really excited about stuff and then we we would just you know kind of let it all hang out but so then how should we respond when people want to pick our brain you gotta use you gotta use some common sense in there right you could you, you don't want to like you're saying you don't want to give away the farm you don't want to basically explain to people everything they need to do especially if it's a business relationship right right if it's a business relationship because you know i believe in sharing information like i i'm a huge advocate which is probably why i give too much of it away sometimes but i think it's also like you know it, it depends on the situation who you're dealing with like you know if someone you know, should be paying you for your time because we've had this. I mean, there was, and I'm not going to name the company, but there was, there was another media company that, that came to us and they, you know, wanted us to help them fix some stuff. And, and they were just brain picking. And I was like, eventually it got to the point. I'm like, look, I can't spend any more time. Either you work with us or you don't work with us. But right now you're just tire kicking. Right. So there always has to come that point where you give enough away to show your expertise but you don't give the farm away so you don't get that client, right? You you want to make sure you're, you know, and basically at a, at a certain point, if someone is uh, tire kicking, you know, and, and, you know, you feel like you're sharing too much, you, you don't, you shouldn't feel, especially in a business relationship, right? You shouldn't feel like it's wrong to say, hey, look, you need to hire me as a consultant here or you need to start paying me for my time because you're giving them a lot of time. There are companies you give hours. I mean, that happens a lot too, even with, you know, job candidates, you know, they, the companies pick their brains, pick their brains, and then they don't hire them. And they probably spent like 30, 40 hours, you know, of time talking to people at the company. You know, I mean, you know, some, there's a point where you should go, yeah, either you guys are going to hire me or start hiring me as a consultant or whatever the case is, because how much can you give away?